Hello and thank you for tuning in to the World Cleanup Day broadcast. Uh, we are here uh, outside of Wellington, New Zealand, uh, coming to you live. Um, it is a wonderful Saturday morning here and uh, dozens of people have gathered, gathered at uh, Hutt uh, River Bank to join into the World Cleanup event. Mayor Ray Wallace just uh, gave the countdown and as you probably know, uh, New Zealand is the first in a row of 150 countries to join in to this uh, amazing worldwide uh, event, uh, which is uh, hopefully the largest of its kind in humankind's, uh, humankind's history. Um, we are joined here uh, by Christine White from the Keep New Zealand uh, Beautiful. Good morning to you, Christine. Good morning. So uh, my first question is uh, quite obvious. How do you feel this morning? How do you feel right now? Oh, uh, it's amazing. It's amazing to see the turnout here at this event and that we can be part of um, World Cleanup Day, which is such an amazing, amazing initiative. Um, just the thought that uh, we in New Zealand are the first um, to kick off World Cleanup Day and that there's going to be um, groups all over the world in the next 24 hours that are doing exactly what we're doing here today. So it's amazing to be part of it. How many events are occurring uh, in New Zealand today, uh, such as this here? Uh, well, we've got many, many events occurring in New Zealand. In New Zealand, uh, we run GJ Gardener Cleanup Week, which is a week-long event, and obviously World Cleanup Day falls within that. Uh, so throughout um, the week, we are um, looking at over 45,000 volunteers from all over New Zealand, just getting together, um, some, some of them individually, but many as groups, just to clean up their little corner of New Zealand and make a difference to their communities. At the moment, it looks uh, remarkably clean uh, in the backdrop. Uh, uh, what are the main problems, the waste-related problems in, in New Zealand? Oh, well, we do have a clean green image in New Zealand, but we also do have a littering problem. Um, we are a nation that's surrounded by water and um, much of our litter does end up in our rivers and makes its way out into the ocean and that can be devastating for our marine life and our bird life. Uh, and we recently conducted, uh, Kent New Zealand Beautiful recently conducted a behaviour littering behaviour study and uh, we found that um, nearly half the people that do litter do litter within five metres of the nearest bin so it's really we you know it's an education issue we need to educate people about the devastating effects that littering can have on our environment. It's our worldwide event today uh, hopefully millions of people will turn out uh, all around the globe um, you've been doing uh, environmental work uh, here uh, regionally, uh, nationally. Uh, when they first approached you with the idea to do a clean-up day, in a single day event, and the idea originates from a small country in Northern Europe, uh, from Estonia, what did you think at first? Oh, well, we just thought it was such an amazing initiative to get so many countries together um, just that there's so much power behind you know so many different cultures coming together and doing the same thing with the same same aim to make their communities cleaner and safer and more beautiful. Obviously nobody can clean up the world in one day in one single day what do you hope uh, will be the um, result of this uh, today's event uh, the point? I think awareness is a big one, awareness of, of how the effects that litter can have on our environment and also that just a small, um, you know, a small action by one person can make a difference with all these people banding together. Um, the overall rubbish that we will collect throughout the world will be amazing and it, and it just really does show that small actions can make a big difference to our planet. Thanks very much Christine. Um, thank you very much for uh, tuning in. Um, the World Cleanup Day continues. The Cleanup Day broadcast will continue for uh, some 24 hours. Uh, I'm Mikko Karamas from uh, Hot City and I will now turn it over 
to a local celebrity, uh, Kiwi singer and actress, uh, Kimbra. <laughs> 